point you take from the mess ups you had from last year and you put in a plan to pretty much get better. And at that point, we got to lead that record in, into last year. And once this new year started, we start improving and building on for the next year, which is now. So we just go ahead and start working every day and try to get better. I asked Tyshawn the same question I'll ask you. What is the most, the one thing that you focus on on a game by game basis? For me, I focus on just having, just trusting myself. Like, I, that's the most biggest thing for me. If I trust myself and believe that I can make all the plays, then I will. If I, and, if I got, I gotta make sure I go into each game and be consistent. Like if I'm one of the elite players on my team, I gotta show that play and play out. And different games, I haven't been as consistent as I want to do. So each game is like, how consistent can I be? The next one, and that's just what made me so important for me. Tariq, what uh, sort of positive enhancements has the new defensive corner Andy Bue brought to you guys? Uh, coach Boo, I would say. There's been a lot of times where you have a coach and they say, you, failure is important. you got to fail in order to grow. Yeah. And then you'll go to practice and you think, like, I can't really fail because the coach is looking, I want to start. Coach Boo has incorporated the fact that he allows, he understands that you're going to mess up. And if you don't mess up in practice, then you're going to mess up in the games. So we go ahead in the practice and we try to give everything we got. And we go ahead and we, if we mess up, that means we're improving at that skill. And as long as we keep messing up in practice and we finally get it, that means we've gotten better as a defense. So. Sure. He's really incorporated communication. That's like the biggest thing. He realized that how can you be out there as a defense and not communicate? You're making it hard for everybody. So he's trying to get us to communicate because we want to, because we love football, not because the coaches tell us to. And that way we'll be a better defense. There was a lot of times last year to where people, we somebody would make one mistake and it could be a big run. That shouldn't happen to be a defense that's running to the ball or a defense that's working together. So he's trying to incorporate everybody running the ball so that we can clean up because everybody's going to make mistakes. You got to have a defense that's going to be there when you make the mistake to clean up so it don't seem so big. So he's trying to make his play as a whole defense, be as a team, be together. And he's incorporated that well. And in the last five games last year, three of the five, you held opponents to under 20 points. What sort of motivation does that give you guys as a unit heading into 2019? That gives us a the motivation it gives us is because we realized during that change, Coach has emphasized, go out there and have fun. Like, he, he emphasized, go have fun, go do your job. There's a lot of times people try to do somebody else's job, and now you didn't do your job, and now we got a problem. Right. So around that time, we was trying to do our job, focus on what we could do, and trusting the people next to us, and that's when our defense was better. Yeah. So if we take from that into this year, if we do the same thing, we could get somewhere. We didn't do it from the beginning of the season, but if we take from then into the next season, into the first game, and we do our job, like your part, and trust that the person next to you is going to do his part, then we got a good defense. Right. So if we just take that as it is and have fun with it, it'll be fun. How have you grown and developed since?